Hey guys, it's Clinton from CNC Equipment. I want to show you something here this morning. On uh, this is actually 450J. This is a transmission controller. It's out of this tractor. If you can see it, it's all corroded up and stuff. But it's actually bad. But it sits right up here on the left-hand side behind your elbow. Actually, when you're sitting in the seat. But we took it out. We know it was bad. It was uh, actually working just fine around here. It's the machine I bought. I bought a couple of them, but. Um, it was throwing a code for no communication between it and the uh, uh, engine, no power coming out of it. So we've had enough of these, we kind of know that we suspected it was the transmission controller. So we actually had another dozer identical, we pulled it out, made sure, swapped it in there, made sure that was it. So um, anyway, we've got a brand new one here from John Deere and these things are not cheap, they're like 4,000 bucks. So. What we're going to do, we're going to get it installed, um, and I'm actually going to walk you guys through on how to calibrate it, because that's kind of a tricky part. There's actually three stages to it. Um, the first one is a sensor calibration, and basically what that is, it's your steering inputs, your throttle, um, your diesel pedal over there. And then the uh, second one is going to be, uh, these dozers are hydrostatic, of course, is going to be setting your pumps, um, the milliamps on those. And the third one's actually going to be um, a low and high speed tracking calibration. So I'll probably take that outside and do it outside here after it gets light. Um, we'll go through all the tests on that. But actually what I do in that third test, um, the tracking test, it's going to make sure both motors are driving st straight. So you don't have any of the, you know, driving crooked and stuff when it gets, uh, gets running. Um, and you got to have it up to operating temp too when you do that. So we're going to get this thing installed this is going to be pretty much similar in any any john deere dozer from about 2000 upwards h series or j series um even the bigger ones you know the 700s are going to be pretty much the same um the later j series you could actually do most of this through the dash this is like a 07 model so some of the later ones 08 on and on up i'm not exactly sure on the years you can actually program them through the dash. These older ones, we're going to be doing everything through the, the computer here. But when I get it hooked up, I'll uh, walk you guys through some of it. All right, we got the transmission controller in. Um, one thing I make sure this ground strap is um, clean and shiny. We've got 10, mill 10 millimeter bolts holding that on. And then this is actually quarter inch American that holds these two plugs on. So we're going to go outside here in a bit. And I'll walk you through the calibration. Everything's got to be done on this. So anytime you replace, say, a speed sensor, any of that kind of stuff, you've got to go through and calibrate this transmission controller. But what happens is they got a plastic cover over here, and moisture gets in here and actually eats on this case after these things get so old. Another thing I've seen, too, um, animals come up here, and they'll build nests and stuff, and it messes them all up, too. So we'll, uh, we'll get this dude outside, and we'll get it calibrated. All right guys, it's warmed up here this afternoon. We're gonna try to uh, calibrate this dozer. Now, I've been running it over there. I've actually got it all warm. See, I've got the trans oil heated up to 157 degrees. The reason you want to um, do that, if that oil is cold, these tractors will mistrack if you try to calibrate them. So you wanna do it with warm oil and everything. So you see, we got the new transmission controller in there. We've got a yellow light flashing, which is, means it's, uh, not calibrated so a lot of times when you put these new controllers in these dozers will not go past like 1.6 on their speed now this one I've been running it's went all the way up I know on the 850s and some of the bigger ones they won't go up so um, we're gonna walk you through and calibrate like I said earlier the first stage is gonna be the sensor adjustment so we're gonna go here I hope you guys can see that it says park right now we're gonna cycle through till we see calibration. AL is calibration. So we're gonna hold, I think you gotta hold the select button down. I don't have the book out. We'll try that, there we go. So you gotta hold the select button down and the calibration function for like five seconds opens up. So now it says park, if you guys can see that. So that means you gotta throw your parking brake lever off. I just did that. Now it's saying D cell B. So what that is, we're going to decel our decelerator pedal down. 
Now it says desal high, we'll let it all the way up. And then it says down, what they're trying to say there. It's gonna be your speed button here, it needs to go down. Hit it. Now it says up, the razor speed button up here. Now it's gonna say right steer. So we're gonna move it over to the right, but not all the way over and kind of rotate. Now it's gonna say left steer. We're gonna move our steering lever over until we get to the stop. Now it's gonna say right, it says RCTR, so that means right kind of rotate. So we're gonna bring this lever all the way over and go past the stop. Now it says left kind of rotate. We're gonna go over that detent and pass to stop. Go back to neutral. Now it says forward. Put the lever in forward. It says neutral. Now we're gonna put it in reverse. Back to neutral. D cell low again. D cell high. Now we gotta turn the throttle high. It's gonna be on your little round knob here. Turn it high. It says throttle low now, we're gonna turn it low. It says okay, so that's the first stage. It says push next, we'll push next. Okay, so we passed that calibration. Now it says throttle high, THR high. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go through the pump calibration. Can I rip this up wide open? Now it says to put it in four. So we're going to leave it in forward for a while. What it's doing, it's calibrating the milliamps on the forward side of the pump. So we've got a lever in forward, the motor's wide open. When it gets done with forward, it will say go to neutral and then we'll do it in reverse. The tractor won't be moving right now to do that in the next test. Sometimes this takes two or three minutes and you gotta put it in neutral and then go to reverse. So if any of the first, uh, if any of that first part of the test, the sensors, if any of that uh, didn't pass, it would have told you then we wouldn't have been able to go to the second part. So, it would have thrown some code, you had to go back. Sometimes you gotta adjust the uh, whatever sensor's bad, whether it's a diesel pedal or the throttle or what have you. They've got certain uh, voltages we gotta be at. We passed that test, so we're doing the second part now. It still says forward yet. side of the pumps, the milliamps. Alright, now it says to go to neutral. Okay, push next. We're going to push next. Now it says forward low. So what we got to do is put this all the way down.
We got her. Should have no codes. No code showing up. Nothing flashing here on her screen anymore. You guys can see that. So, unfortunately, that went very well. Sometimes you, um, you know, there's a bunch of parameters and all this stuff, like that steering control. I'll shut this off so you guys can hear me. Like a steering control, there's a certain amount of voltage left to right, forward and backwards. The throttle, same thing. And you can adjust all these voltages. Same thing for decel pedal and your brake, actually. So when you push this decel pedal down, it's got to stop there, and you can actually push past it for your brake. So I don't know if you can hear me on that steering. You've got to stop right here. If you push it on past that it, stop, it's a counter-rotate where both tracks will spin backwards. So when we was doing that steering test, they first want you to go to that stop right and left and then you got to go past it and do the counter rotate but we passed all that test but if any of that fails it will not let you go any farther to throw codes up and you've got to fix that stuff and when you get that fixed it goes to the milliamps on the uh, setting the pump so if that fails you've got to do some adjusting under the floorboard there with some uh, uh, gauges and stuff it gets a little more technical and stuff but then the third section is what we just done it was the uh, low speed and high speed travel so you can either do it out in the open, we've got a big parking lot, I like to do them out here, or you can jack them up and put them on jack stands and you know, do them inside or outside if you don't have the area. But I like to run them outside in the gravel. It gets a little better job that way. But uh, that's all there is to that. And this is gonna apply to your, any of your H or J series tractors pretty much. The 750s and 850s are a little bit different. You can actually do those through the dashes. But uh, this, the basic principle is all the same on the H's. You have a hand throttle over here, and they still will actually make you move it, even though it's an analog type thing, um, to set that up. So, and if you don't get that first section of the uh, of the sensor calibration done, sometimes you know you can mess it up where you don't have it all the way over and not far enough over steering. Sometimes you want to try to do it two or three times because sometimes it may just be a you know operator input error on the on the thing too. So, but. Uh, if it gets much more past that, the best thing to do is, you know, get you a book on these things. They'll tell you how to do all this, but actually seeing it in a video, I think, makes it a little easier than trying to figure it out through the book. But hopefully that helps some people out. So um, there's a lot of other things you can do through the computer, too. Um, you know, you pull up all your codes, you can pull up those voltages and all that stuff through this controller. But whenever they get looking nasty like that one we pulled out, they're uh, usually about done for. So we're going to get this one covered back up and... This machine's good to go. If you guys like this stuff, let me know in the comments and definitely subscribe. We got more stuff coming out.